Hello, everyone. Welcome to our broadcast today. I'm Jerry Savell. Thank you for joining me. I want to pray, and I want you to join with me in prayer as I'm going to be sharing something very, very special, and I believe, praise God, that it has a very meaningful part of your life or will be a very meaningful part of your life. So let's join together in prayer right now. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, who is the teacher of your word, the revealer of truth, and give me utterance in the Holy Spirit that I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, and may every word be nourishing and faith building to everyone who hears and receives it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have your Bibles, I want you to open them to Philippians chapter 1. Philippians chapter 1, and I'd like to begin reading in verse 3. Follow along with me if you have your Bibles. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all, making requests with joy, for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, ye are partakers of my grace. Many theologians believe and write that the Apostle Paul uh, had a relationship with this church in Philippi somewhere between 10 and 20 years. Regardless of how long it was, what's important is to realize that it was a very important relationship with Paul. So, notice how he says that he thanks God for them every time they come to his mind. Every remembrance of them, he thanks God for them. He thanks God for how they received his message when he first came to them, and he thanks God for how that they became his partners when they received the word that he preached. Once again, it says he declares that he is uh, often praying for them, and one of his greatest joys is his remembrance of them. And then notice he says, I'm especially grateful for your fellowship in the gospel since the very first day that you heard me bring the message to you. This word fellowship is also translated partnership. In fact, the Amplified Bible says it this way, I'm thanking God for your participation and partnership in advancing the good news. Because they were so touched by the message that he shared with them, they became his partners. And that partnership lasted all those years, somewhere between 10 and 20 years, from the first day until the moment that he was writing this letter to them. And because of this, he says, by inspiration of the Holy Spirit, that you are now partakers of my grace. That's very important. Partnership brings you into a relationship with the ministry that you are partnering with, and you become a partaker of the grace that is on that ministry. One commentary states that this is, this is your just due. In other words, the same grace that was on the Apostle Paul was on them, and that same grace that enabled him to overcome every attack of the adversary, they can expect that same grace to function and operate in them as well. That's powerful. Once again, every attack of the adversary that came against them, they can expect the same grace that was on him that enabled him to overcome every attack of the adversary. Jesus had personally told the Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9 that my grace is sufficient. The message translation says it's enough and it's all that you'll need, meaning enough to get you over anything and everything that the adversary throws your way. So God is saying to him, no matter what you go through, you have the grace to overcome it. You have the grace to be victorious. And once again, he said, that same grace that's on my life and ministry, because you're my partner, it's now on you as well. He said this in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 11. He said, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all, the Lord delivered me. How many did he deliver him from? Every persecution, every affliction, out of them all, the Lord 
delivered him. Why? Because this grace that was on his life and ministry enabled him to overcome every attack. And once again, he's saying to his partners, that same grace is on you. So every time they came under attack, they could expect the same results, that God would deliver them from them all. The grace was on him, and, and now it was on his partners, and praise God, it enabled them to endure just like he was able to endure. Not only that, but it enabled them to overcome every attack. In his first letter to Timothy, he says this, in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 14, And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant. He said, The grace that was on me was exceeding abundant. The Amplified says it this way, His amazing unmerited favor and blessing flowed out in super abundance for me. Wow, that's a powerful statement. Super abundant grace, amazing unmerited favor. That's what was on Paul's life. Even though he went through a lot of adversity, Satan was never able to defeat him. In fact, they couldn't even kill the man until he said these words, I have finished my course. I am now ready to depart. So what enabled him to overcome? This grace that was super abundant on his life. And the Lord Jesus Christ said that that very grace was sufficient. It was enough, more than enough to overcome every attack of the adversary. And he's telling his partners that this same grace was now on them. You see, there is a spiritual law. It's a biblical law that once you link yourself together with a ministry, the grace that is on that ministry, the grace that is on that minister, that same grace comes upon you. Now, one of the things that's been on my life since I started back in 1969, this was one of the first revelations the Lord gave to me. And He said, I'm going to teach you how to walk in my favor, and I'm going to hold you responsible as you grow in it to teach others how to walk in it just like you do, and how that it can cause them to win battles just like it's causing you. And then He also said this, there will come a day when your name will be known around the world for the favor of God that is on your life. Well, that, is, that has happened. That has come to pass. This ministry is known around the world for the favor of God that's not only on my life personally, but on this ministry as well. And just like the Apostle Paul said to his partners, that same grace is available to you when you become a partner with this ministry. You become a partaker of the same grace and the same favor that is on me. So, this means that they were able to overcome every attack of the adversary, just like the Apostle Paul did, and God would deliver them from every attack, just like He did for the Apostle Paul. That's one of the great benefits of partnership. Let me say that again. It's one of the great benefits of partnership. Ministers that are experiencing victory, and they've imparted in your life, hook up with them. Ministers that are constantly overcoming adversity, and they're always coming out with a great testimony, there's a grace that is on them, and if you link up with their ministry, that same grace will come upon you. It's a powerful Bible principle. Let me say this, I truly believe that God directs, God orchestrates, and God arranges divine connections and associations. And you can clearly see this throughout the Bible. One example was the association between Laban and Jacob. And here's what it says in Genesis chapter 30. This is Laban talking to Jacob. He said, And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thine eyes, tarry, for I have learned by experience that the Lord has blessed me for thy sake. Now notice what Laban said to Jacob. He said, I know for a fact, I know by experience that the Lord has blessed me because of you. Now, he goes on to say, from the Amplified, the Lord has blessed me because of you. And then verse 29 and verse 30 from the King James, And he said unto him, Thou knowest how I have served thee. This is Jacob speaking to Laban. And you know how I have served thee, and how that thy cattle was with me. For it was little, listen to this, for it was little which thou had before I came, and it is now increased, and the Lord has blessed thee since my coming. That's a powerful statement. 
Jacob is saying to Laban, you had little before I came into your life, before you linked up with me, but it has increased greatly. Praise God. You know, I can say that about uh, the moment that Kenneth Copeland came into my life and I linked up with his ministry. It was little which I had, but as a result of linking up with him and becoming his partner and being associated with his ministry all these years, praise God, it has increased greatly. I call that the law of increase by association. Now, the message translation says it this way. The little you had when I arrived has increased greatly. Everything I did resulted in blessing for you. So Jacob is saying that he recognized this law of increase by association. And he's saying to Laban, you had little before you met me. But when I came into your life and you linked together with me, it has increased greatly and the Lord has blessed you exceedingly. You see, that's a Bible principle. And once again, it's all over the Bible. Divine connections, that's what I like to refer to them, divine connections. They bring tremendous increase and blessing into a person's life. This is what the Lord told me many, many years ago to begin to refer to as the law of increase by association. And once again, it's a Bible principle, and you can see it throughout the Bible. You can see it in the lives of Moses and Joshua. You can see it in the lives of Elijah and Elijah. You can see it in the life of Paul and Timothy. It's all over the Bible. That's just a few examples. But the book of Proverbs states it perhaps more clearly than anywhere in the Bible. Here's what it says, Proverbs 13 and verse 20. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. Let me read that again. Proverbs 13, verse 20. Make a note of that. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. In other words, if you associate with wise people, you will increase in wisdom. The same is true regarding associations with anointed people or prosperous people. If you are linked together with people that are anointed, that same anointing will come on you. If you're linked together with prosperous people, that same spirit of prosperity will come on you. It's the law of increase by association. Now, the New Century Version says this, spend time with wise people and you will become wiser. Once again, the law of increase by association. The King James says, but uh, this goes on to say, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. So what he's saying is make sure you associate with the right people. If you associate with fools, as it says here, then it'll bring destruction. In other words, associating with the wrong people uh, and with wrong preachers, I might add, can become very costly. The message translation says it this way, hang out with fools and watch your life fall to pieces. Well, you don't want that to happening in your life, do you? If you hang out with the wrong people, if you associate with the wrong people, and even if you associate with the wrong preachers, then you just watch, your life will begin to fall to pieces. So who you associate with has everything to do with your outcome. I'm going to say that again. Who you associate with has everything to do with your outcome. It, it has everything to do with how your life turns out. The word associate means this, to join in company, to join as a partner in business, enterprise, or endeavor. It means to unite in action. It also means to unite in purpose. So this is what Paul was referring to when he said to the Christians in Philippi, you have linked together with me from the very first day right up until now. Once again, that relationship had been going on for somewhere between 10 and 20 years. And he says, because you have linked together with me, because you are in association with me, you are, you are hooked up with my endeavors, then because of that, you have a right to experience the same grace that I'm walking in. The same grace that is on me, you are now partakers of. And you really should pray. I'm going to say this again. You really should pray about who you link up with. Linking up with the wrong ministries can be costly. But if you link up with ministries 
that are producing results, that are walking in integrity, that are living a life that is godly before Almighty God, then praise God, consequently, you're going to experience some great dividends. You're going to experience some great benefits. I personally believe that He will direct you to be a partner with the ministries that have imparted into your life the most. If this ministry happens to be one of those ministries, then you should sincerely pray about becoming a partner with this ministry. You know, it's not very often that I talk about partnership. It's not very often that I ask you to pray about uh, supporting this ministry. But I believe from time to time the Lord would lead me to share the importance of biblical partnership. Once again, I linked up with Brother Kenneth Copeland many years ago, and because of that, I'm experiencing increase in my life. I linked up with Oral Roberts many, many years ago, and because of that, I'm experiencing increase in my life. I linked up with Kenneth Hagin many years ago, T.L. Osborne many years ago, and because of that, I am increasing in my personal life and in my ministry. I'm experiencing the law of increase by association. So I'd like for you to pray today, and if this ministry has been uh, a, a very vital part of your life, if this ministry has helped you grow spiritually, if this ministry has taught you how to increase in faith, if this ministry has taught you how to walk in the favor of God, and we receive many, many testimonies of people who state just those things, that this ministry has taught them more than any other ministry how to walk in the favor of God. And if you're one of those people that this ministry has touched your life, has blessed your life, has caused your life to grow uh, spiritually and to grow financially in every other way, then I want you to prayerfully consider becoming a partner in this ministry. Because, once again, I believe in this spiritual law, increase by association. When you link together with this ministry, then praise God, you become a partaker of the grace and the favor that is not only on Jerry Savelle Ministries International, but on my life personally as well. So, once again, if this ministry has been a blessing to you, it's inspired your faith, then prayerfully consider becoming our partner. You know, we have friends and partners all over the world. I was recently in Canada just a, a few days ago, actually. Now, by the time you're watching this broadcast, it would have been a couple of months ago. But I was in this meeting in Canada just recently, and a person came up to me and said, Brother Jerry, I've been your partner for 41 years. Wow, I've been in the ministry now 49 years, and they've been a partner for 41 of those 49 years. And they went on to tell me that God has brought increase in their, their life, and God has blessed them abundantly, and they just couldn't stop thanking me for the ministry and the word that I brought to them over those 41 years. That is a great honor. You know, I've said many times, one of the greatest compliments a person can give me, and I hear this all over the world, Brother Jerry, I'm your partner. Praise God. That says that you have confidence in my calling. You have confidence in me as a person, as a minister of the gospel. You trust me with your finances. You, you believe I'm a man of integrity, and I will never disappoint you. I will never let you down. I'll keep this ministry pure. I'll keep my life pure, and praise God, I'll, I'll make you proud that you became a partner with this ministry. So I'd like for you to prayerfully consider, if you're not a partner already, and this ministry has been blessing you over the years, prayerfully consider becoming a partner. If you'd like more information on partnership, we'd be happy to send you material on how it works. So I want to encourage you to pray, seek the Lord, and uh, I believe, praise God, when you become a partner with this ministry, there are great benefits and great blessings that you've never tapped into that are just waiting for you. Praise God. So once again, thank you in advance for prayerfully considering becoming a partner. Increase by association. The spirit of increase is on this life. It's on this ministry, praise God. The spirit of favor is on my life. It's on this ministry, and you become a partaker of it just like I am. So once again, thank you in advance for praying about being a partner, and I look forward to hearing from you, and I'm going to pray for you right now in advance. Father, I pray for every person that's prayerfully considering becoming a partner with this ministry. I pray in the name of Jesus that they will begin to increase, 
they will begin to grow. They will begin to experience your blessings your, your, in, in, in ways they've never experienced before. They will begin to experience your favor in ways they've never experienced before. And I thank you in advance, Heavenly Father, for speaking to them, leading them, directing them to become a partner with this ministry. And I decree in Jesus' name that they are headed for the greatest days of their life Amen and amen. Praise God. Let me hear from you. I look forward to hearing from you. And praise God, I want you to know that I'm going to stand with you, believe God with you, that you're going to experience greater victories than you've ever known before. Praise God. Watch this, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. In this powerful message by Jerry Savelle, Increase by Association, you'll discover the little-known spiritual law that the Apostle Paul wrote of that Jerry has experienced and that is available to you today. When you surround yourself with people who think big, dream big, and refuse to give up, the same attitude and results will come upon your life. Who you associate with has everything to do with your destiny. Also included in this special package is the revealing book, What I Learned. In it, Jerry Savelle shares how his association with some of the 20th century's greatest men of faith has impacted his life and how this same truth can be activated in your life. Are you ready for your faith to be stretched and to begin seeing increase by association in your life? Don't wait any longer. Call or go online right now to jerrysavelle.org and request your copy of the Increase by Association package. In it, you'll receive the CD teaching Increase by Association and the insightful book, What I Learned. Order now and discover more about your covenant right of increase and start experiencing it today. Thank you once again for watching our broadcast today. I appreciate you joining with me. And let me thank you in advance one more time about the possibility of you becoming a partner with Jerry Savelle Ministries International. And let me remind you, it is an international ministry. We have offices and staff all over the world. We have Bible schools. We have churches that we've planted, orphanages that we've built. We are indeed an international ministry, and if you become a partner with us, you share in the rewards that we receive, praise God, and the satisfaction of knowing that you're touching lives all over the world. I want to share with you once again our special offer this week, this little CD, Increase by Association. Now, I didn't have time to cover everything uh, in the lesson today, but I did on this CD. 
Increase My Association. That's one of the products. And then also my book on what I learned from the men who imparted into my life the most. These are the men that I partnered with and I'm still partners with uh, and have been for many, many years. And because of my partnership with these men, it has brought great increase into my life. So this is a special package that we're offering this week. The book entitled, What I Learned from the Men Who Imparted Into My Life the Most. Kenneth Copeland, Oral Roberts, Kenneth Hagen, T.L. Osborne, and some others. And then this CD, Increased by Association. I had an opportunity to teach on this spiritual law. It was such a powerful, powerful lesson. And I want you to have it so that you know exactly about what you can expect when you partner with this ministry. So order information, now ordering information is on the screen right now. Go ahead and call the number and place your order or write to us, however it's most convenient for you. And we'll take your order and send this material to you just as quickly as we possibly can. Now, here's some testimonies from some of our partners. And uh, this, this is what I'm talking about. This is a letter from Deborah. She says, I'm a flight attendant and I was waiting for my flight assignments through the Christmas season. I called your ministry and asked for agreement in prayer for a favorable schedule that would allow me to have Christmas off. Not even an hour after we prayed together, I got my flight assignment and they not only gave me Christmas off, but several other days as well, allowing us to travel and to visit my family. Now, a partner called in and asking for prayer. Our prayer department prayed with her and praise God, God brought it to pass. Thank you, Deborah, for taking the time to write to us and thank you for your partnership. Here's one from Pat. She said, I had a stroke over 12 years ago and I was told that I was never going to be able to walk again or talk or be normal again health-wise. Health but praise God, I'm walking and living the life. Thank you for your encouraging messages. Praise God. We rejoice with you, Pat, and thank you for taking the time to write to us. Thank you for being my partner. Once again, I look forward to hearing from you and I'm looking forward to entering into partnership with you in the days ahead. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And remember, your faith will overcome the world. Next week. So many people today don't praise God enough. Right. So many people today are not grateful enough for what God is doing. You know, they tend to major on what's not happening mm -hmm. rather than what God has made happen. Right. I have so many testimonies. Dear Lord, 49 years, I have testimony after testimony of how God has brought me through, how God has, has broken through for me. God has blessed me. God has prospered me. God has favored me. And I know you have wonderful testimonies as well and reasons to give God praise continually. Well, I think it should be just something every morning when we wake up. Yeah. That's the first thing we do is thank Him, even for breath in our lungs, yeah. just to wake up that morning.